So I just wanted to share one last story and then we're going to break up into small groups. So that is me at the 30 Seconds to Mars Lincoln Park concert. That's me on stage. So I carry my free hug sign everywhere I go and I took it to the concert. And I lucked out, I got tickets in the 11th row at the very last minute. And I had tweeted to Jared Leto, I've got tickets in row L, L for love, I'll be rocking my free hug sign. And he retweeted me, and I, I like I printed it out and put it up on my wall. I was so excited. And then I took my sign. Yeah, totally, it's true. I see your smile. <laughs> so I took my sign at a concert, and I had, I had a bigger one than this one that you can see it there. And I had it above my head, and then they left me. I'm like, man, I hope Jared Leto sees me. I hope Jared Leto sees me. But he saw me out of the corner of his eye. Nothing happened. That was all right. So then it's the last song of the concert. Every last song they play, closer to the edge. They invite people from the audience to come up on stage with them. So I'm just, oh man, please see me, please see me. And all of a sudden, out of Jared Leto's mouth, I hear, free hugs, get up here. Yes. And I'm screaming up to the stage. And I'm up there with Jared Leto. The view from behind Jared Leto is just as good as the view in front of Jared Leto. And I'm up there, it's just beautiful. And I'm up there with 30 people singing along and free hugging everyone on stage. And it's just fantastic. No, I did not get to free hug Jared Leto. Everyone gave me, aww, but it's okay. It's okay, because if Jared Leto would have free hugged me, he would have had to free hug 300,000 million other people when that would have been tough. So the reason I tell you this is believe in your own ideas. Um, some of my friends thought I was really silly taking my free hug sign at a concert. They were like, those Lincoln Park fans are going to beat you up. And I was like, they are not, they're people. And in fact, the Lincoln Park fans were like, hey man, Give me a hug. Dude with tattoos all over his whole body. I was like, yeah, man, I, I could totally share a hug with you. That's great, man. I had a bad day. All right, fist bump. Enjoy the concert. <laughs> oh, I will. So, believe in your ideas. Keep persevering, taking those steps towards whatever you want to create. And changing a community really does start with that first step. And you, you're already doing that. And in fact, we're going to do that again in a moment just for a refresher. And because you saw a bunch of other ideas now, it might have spurred something in your own creativity and in your desire to make a certain change. So it does start with identifying what are you good at doing, what do you love doing? How do you connect that to a change you want to make? What is one of the challenges living in your town? You all identified those. Transportation is an issue, the drug problem is an issue, the rural, how spread out it is has been a challenge for you. And then what is missing from your town? A lot of you talked about things you'd like to see that don't currently exist. Now you've got a platform to create it, to actually make it happen because there are adult mentors who are going to partner with you and there's going to be funding for at least one of the ideas. So persevere, anything's possible. Everyone in every place has something to offer. That one tiny action can make a big difference. Take what you just saw and heard and do something with it. And if anyone wants to stay in touch, my website's up there. I'd be happy to, a couple people have already friended me on Facebook from Ridgeway. And I do respond to every email I receive. So now Jackie is going to tell you more about the next steps and what we're going to be doing together in just a moment. Thank you.